And now it's time for another installment of Things That Happened So Long Ago You Need To See A Special Educational Film About Them To Remember The Details. Of course, everybody on Earth enjoys the golden age of prosperity brought on by the mind-boggling success of Midnight Cabaret in the 2008-2009 year. But how did this success begin? Well, that's easy to answer. It started in the peaceful and not at all violent but still militant takeover of Midnight Cabaret by the co-chairs for that year, Michael Mitlicki and Yoshi Kuroi. Now, we all enjoy this age of prosperity and everything, but how many of you know, for instance, that there was a battle involved, a naval battle? Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? So it's safe to assume that many of us are unfamiliar with the co-chairs of this historical year. And so we did some research and found some experts who spent their entire lives studying Mike and Yoshi. And here's what they had to say about these two incredible men. Michael Mitlicki was the optimum choice for co-chair of Midnight Cabaret. He really brought to it a mood of, yeah, we could try that. He always knew what he was good at. He knew what he was good at, and he knew what he wasn't so good at. So he was able to excel in what he was good at, and was able to sit back, trust somebody else, and make sure that everything happened smoothly. This around as everybody did things for him. What this said was that he was in charge, and everything was okay. But what the hell, let's do something crazy. The only reason this mentality was successful was because of his control. He knew when enough was enough, and he knew when he and the group could do more. They did a lot for that year he was in charge. He would have been happier if they had done more, but he was never unhappy to begin with. Now, what gave him this ability to focus on the small things while picturing things bigger was what he had done in his past. He was a founding member, artistic director, and later general manager of the Lightbulb Player. The Lightbulb Player is a high school theater company that is completely run by students. By the time he graduated high school, he had directed and or music directed three productions as well as running the entire company. Because of this experience, other larger theater companies brought him on to different jobs. In one summer, he directed a production assistant music directed another, and produced another, all while also working as a music teacher and accompanist at Rutgers University. Not one of his jobs slacked at all during this period. In fact, many of the people he worked with regarded him as one of the best directors, producers, what have you, that they had ever worked with. The previous co-chairs, Beth and Spike, really could not have picked a better successor than Yoshi Kuroi. No one could have better embodied the creative freedom of Midnight Cabaret, as he was always eager for artistic exploration. Nothing seemed to give him more joy to help encourage and achieve the expression of different people's ideas. In all likelihood, it was his willingness to be impulsive that aided greatly in such endeavors, although he always drew the line when too close to anything overly inappropriate. That ability wasn't all that made him a great co-chair, however. He also had seemingly unending compassion towards people and their ideas. Despite whatever his personal feelings towards someone or their idea might be, he unfailingly listened to them and considered them as carefully as if they had been his own ideas. No one really needed to feel like their idea was any less valuable than anyone else's when working with Yoshi Kuroi. Both his impulsiveness to a point and his compassion for every single idea that came his way developed as a direct result of his experiences before he was co-chair of Midnight Cabaret. Having been trained in the theatrical art of improvisation from the very early age of six, impulsiveness was like a second nature to him, as well as that he had the idea of yes and drilled into him. That is, he knew absolutely how to take an idea that wasn't necessarily good enough, and as opposed to cutting it entirely, adding to it in order to improve it. In fact, he had become so experienced in these ideas that by the time he was applying to be a co-chair for Midnight Cabaret, 
He'd already been teaching improvisational theater for almost four years. In addition to teaching improv professionally, Yoshi Kuroi was no stranger to the administrative side of creating a show in a week. He's a founding member of the completely student-run Harvard School of Performing Arts, which would quite often put up shows in brief amounts of times, sometimes even less than a week. <laughs> he also ran the Harker Improv Troupe for two years. It, too, was a student-run company that put up various shows though usually comprised half of improv and half various performance art pieces. Michael Mitlicki and Yoshi Kuroi are geniuses. All of their ideas are flawless. 